This is Jimmy. He's a gingerbread man. Jimmy the gingerbread man is going round in a circle at the minute. He likes going round in a circle, but what he's wondering when he's talking. You want to know how fast he's going? Oh, he's very inquisitive about his velocity in a circle. You're right, he is, but... So we want to work out his velocity or his speed, say. We've got his velocity over time. Yes, yeah, so distance over time. over time equals velocity. That's what I meant. But there's a problem with that. There is a problem with that, Wayne, because he's travelling in a circle, so his distance, his distance is a circumference. And the circumference we have an equation for, 2 pi r, so that's taken that into account. So 2 pi r over t. But then we've got another problem, Wayne. It's full, full of problems, Jimmy is. Yeah. And that's, uh, what's our time? Where do we measure that from? Well, it's actually the time for one revolution, which has its own special name, rather than yeah. being a little t. And that is a capital T, and it is its period. So what you tend to do is measure 10 revolutions, divide by 10, and that'll be uh, t time 10 revolutions, yeah. divide the time by 10, yeah. and that'll give you the period. Yeah, so that'll give you its velocity. Scream if you want to go faster. <coughs> not yet, Jimmy, not, not, yet. not yet. We've got We're another question first. So, there's one more thing, and that is central peak acceleration. I mean, what is that? Well, it's an acceleration towards the centre of the circle. No matter where Jimmy is on this circle, whether he's at the bottom, the top, or the little bit to the right, yeah. he's always accelerating towards the centre. Sorry, like, oh, Jimmy. Sorry, Jimmy. Jimmy. Hit Jimmy there. He's always falling towards my hands. Actually, think about the moon is always really falling towards the Earth, but they're going around it. And so, centripetal acceleration is its own nifty little equation. And it is, and that is v squared over r again, where r is the radius. So, the way they tend to ask it in an exam is they first ask you to work out the velocity, and then you'll have the velocity, you can put it into this equation for acceleration, and then when you have that, you can work out the force, which is the next video in the yeah. series. So, we'll go into that in a second, but uh, I think you've been waiting patiently enough. I think you have. Scream if you want to go faster. <coughs> oh, Wayne Duck! That's not a duck, Triv. No? That's a gingerbread man. Ah! Oh.